Hi everyone, it's Alyssa from Alyssa's Bake Shop and today I'm going to show you how to make marbled cookies using rural icing. I'm going to be using Americolor food gel dye in order to marble our cookies today. So I wanted to do something that was very dreamy and kind of cute, so I went with navy blue and soft pink. I am going to add another color later and I will show you guys what I did. So my recommendation for marbled cookies is you want to put your roll icing in a shallow bowl. It's just going to make your life easier when you're trying to dip and get your cookies out of the icing. In order to have some really cool patterns on the cookie, you want to make sure that you spread out that food dye. So use a scribe tool or a toothpick or even a knife and just kind of go back and forth making some random patterns. I'm going to start with the moon cookie. So what you want to do is just dip the cookie straight down into the icing. The icing that I'm using here is more on the pipeable to stiff consistency side. I recommend using a pipeable icing because if your icing is too stiff, it's going to give you some problems. But if your icing is too thin, it will also be a mess and run all over the place. But to be honest, when you're marbling and when you're dipping cookies, it can get messy. So do expect your fingers to get a little bit messy. If you notice that there are some concentrated areas of that food dye, take a pause for a second and just try to spread it out a little bit. Piping icing on cookies is of course so much fun and it's something that I love to do, but it really is nice to have a break sometimes, especially for my hand because I do get hand cramps sometimes. So if you ever have hand issues or if you're just a little bit tired of piping on, then I definitely recommend trying to marble. This actually is another technique in how to flood your cookie. It's not as perfect as using a piping bag, but it can save you time and the hand cramps if you need it. I finished dipping all the moons and I wanted the stars to have a little bit different of a color so I decided to go in with some soft pink. Now this color was really not doing what I wanted it to do but I'm going to show you how to fix that later. So the same thing, when you add the food dye you want to make sure that it's nice and spread out. My goal was that the pink and the blue would be a really nice combination and would just start to give us some purple as well because I really wanted to stick to this whole idea of dreamy moons and stars. Like most things in baking, sometimes things just don't go the way that you want and you have to learn to be okay with that and figure out how to fix it. So when I've marbled cookies in the past, sometimes I've felt that there needs to be way more white instead of all of the colors that I've added. So what I am doing is I'm taking a little spatula and just kind of bringing up the white icing that's underneath the surface. The colors do get mixed up a little bit, but we can still save it. And I did want the two colors to combine anyway to make a purple. So instead I started just adding a straight up pink color and then I started to mix this in. I thought that this shade of pink would be a little bit nicer with the blue. And I almost forgot to talk about the most important part. Do you see how when I'm lifting up the cookie, there's still a lot of icing. If you just let all of this icing sit on the cookie, it's fine, but most likely that icing is going to run off because there's just way too much. So after you lift up your cookie from dipping, I recommend to just kind of shake off that excess icing. You could even get rid of some of it from the edge using your finger, or you could just scrape it off against the bowl. These cookies are dry enough so now I can add some edible glitter and you know most of the time I do add edible glitter to a lot of things what can I say I just love love glitter but I thought that the glitter would be nice because again just that kind of dreamy effect that I was going for. And one thing about marbled cookies that I really like is when they're really fully dried and they're not as glossy as when you first dip them, you can really see how all the colors come together. Each cookie looks unique and that's just because of how we marble them. And if you're a little nervous to do multiple colors, just try one color and I'm sure that you'll like the results. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'm going to link my sugar cookie recipe and my rural icing recipe down below. I'll see you next time.